So you've just come home from having a total knee joint replacement surgery. You're dealing with a lot of pain. You have a lot of knee swelling, a lot of muscle inhibition, and you can't walk very well right now, but that's okay. These are the top nine exercises that you should do in the first one to four weeks after a total knee joint replacement surgery. So there's a few things that we need to talk about first. Number one, we need to elevate the knee and ice it so you can use a cold pack like a gel pack or if you get one of those uh, the ice coolers that circulate cold water but you want to be elevating your leg above above your heart level so think toes above your nose when you're lying on your back getting the leg elevated icing for 15 to 20 minutes and doing it every two to four hours second you wanna to talk to your medical provider about getting a pair of compression socks, typically in the 10 to 15 millimeters of mercury compression level. And you'll wanna to talk to them about that if you've been dealing with a lot of lower leg, calf, and foot swelling, which is pretty typical. Those graduated compression socks can really help. And the third one is sleeping with your leg elevated at night and trying to sleep with a knee straight because if you sleep with your knee bent, those tissues get stiff in that bent position and it makes it even harder to get your knee straight. So you can take three or four pillows and build an incline at, uh, in your bed or you can purchase a bolster which works really well also. And I'll drop a, a link in the description below for a bolster. After about a week or two after knee surgery, you can begin using a recumbent bike. So that's a bike that has that back support where you're kind of in that recline position and you're not gonna be able to get all the way around. That's, that's totally acceptable. What we're gonna use the recumbent bike for is range of motion in the knee. And so we'll actually go rocking back and forth just between kind of what the knee range gives you. And we'll just do that for about eight to 10 minutes of knee rocking back and forth for range of motion. Our first exercise is a quad set. And a quad set targets the quadricep muscles that are located in the front part of your thigh here. And that's the area that you're gonna notice a lot of muscle inhibition in after a total knee joint replacement surgery. And that's because what they give you a femoral nerve block in the front part of your leg, and that femoral nerve innervates those muscles down the front, the front part of the leg there. So because of, the, uh, of that nerve block and the trauma and the swelling from the surgery, it causes a lot of muscle inhibition, which is basically sluggishness in the muscles. It feels like whenever you try to move your leg, it feels like it's a dead weight and it's just really, really slow to respond. So these quadriceps are meant to re-engage those quad muscles to get them firing faster and to bring them more online so that they respond quicker when your brain is trying to turn them on. So in order to set this one up, we're gonna take a hand towel and put it behind your knee here, have your knee and your foot pointing straight up towards the ceiling, and then press the knee down into the towel roll which engages the quad muscles. And so again, in the beginning, it's gonna be really slow and sluggish. You're not gonna get a really good kind of squeeze to it. And then if you wanna do the other side together, I like doing both sides at the same time because your brain is connecting with the non-surgical side correctly. And you'll notice that there's a big difference between the two, but it also helps the brain connect with the surgical side even faster. So you'll press down into the towel for 10 seconds. You can squeeze both sides at the same time. Hold for 10 seconds, relax, and repeat. 10 second hold, relax. So you do this for 10 repetitions, but you'll do it three or four times throughout the day. So we wanna do it several times throughout the day. Our next exercise is a supine heel slide. And so for this exercise, we're working on the range of motion of the knee joint. So our ability to bend the knee further. So for this exercise, I'm using a stretching strap, which is really helpful because it's got these nice loop bands all the way down it. It just gives you a lot of places to kind of get a, a really good grip on it. Um, you could also use a dog leash that has the, you know, the handle loop at the end that you can put around your foot or a piece of rope that you tie a loop on. But you'll lie on your back, place the strap around your foot, you'll actively, actively use the muscles in your leg to bend and slide the heel towards you. But eventually you're gonna to get to a point that you just can't bend it anymore, right? So at that point, I want you to grab the strap and over pressure by pulling up on the band into that pain, stiffness, or tightness. 
and pausing there for three to five seconds. So you're holding that in that stretch position for three to five seconds, and then you'll kick it back out to a straight position. Take a short, brief rest, and then do it again. Slide up using the, the muscles in the leg until you can't get any further, then grab the strap and overpressure into that pain, stiffness, tightness for three to five seconds and then slide it back out. And so you'll do that for 10 repetitions and we'll do this three times a day, so like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Think of it like that, so three times a day. For our fourth exercise, we're going to give the leg muscles in the front a break and we're gonna to go to the hip this time in a side-lying hip abduction exercise. So for this one, you're gonna lie on your side with your bottom leg bent your top leg straight, so the top leg is a surgical leg. You'll have your uh, leg in line with your upper body, so basically you do not want to have this leg way out in front of you here. So we want to make sure that if you look down your body, your leg is a continuation in a nice straight line here. So hand on your hip, your toes are pointing straight ahead, and then you're going to lift this top leg up towards the ceiling. And so well, um, you're going to feel this in the outside hip muscles here, in kind of the glute. And the way that we, uh, we see people cheat this exercise is as they lift up, their body wants to roll the hips backwards. So, we, so you can see my hips are rolling back and my foot's kind of pointing up towards the ceiling. So that's a big cheat because that's going to kick in the hip flexors. We don't want to do that actually. We want to keep the hips nice and perpendicular to the surface here so that as we're raising up, we're feeling this in the outer hip muscles. So we'll do three sets of 10, or we'll work up to three sets of 10, I should say, because in the beginning, you'll probably only get about two sets, but that's fine, just, just kind of work up as a goal to get the three sets of 10. The fifth exercise is a seated long arc quad. So for this exercise, you'll be seated at the edge of a table or chair. Keep your thigh down, against the table, so that's really important because you people will cheat this by lifting their thigh up. So make sure you keep your thigh flat against the table. And then you'll fully extend the knee with your toes pointing up towards the sky. Again, this is focused on the quads. And because they're sluggish after that surgery, they're going to, it's gonna be like a, a hard motion. It's gonna be difficult to do but you're going to slowly work it and it's going to get better the more you do it. It's going to get better with repetition. Try to pause slightly at the top, squeezing those quads and then lowering back down. And we're going to work three sets of 10 with this exercise, giving yourself little 30 second minute rest breaks in between. And you can do this about two times per day. Our next exercise is a straight leg raise. So this exercise is gonna be very difficult. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's gonna be really difficult, but it's also one of the most important exercises that you can do when you're post-op a knee replacement surgery. And that's because it puts a lot of demand on the hip flexors and the quad muscles in the thigh. And because those have a lot of muscle inhibition, this is a great test for how quickly you're getting those muscles to turn back on. Because when they're not responding properly, and you lift this straight leg raise, your knee is gonna bend. There's gonna be what we call a quad lag. There's gonna be a lag, it's gonna bend on the way up. But your goal, your goal, if you choose to accept it, your mission, Jim, should you decide to accept it, is to pull your toes up towards you and keep that leg completely locked out straight, keep that knee joint straight as you lift up. That is your goal. So you will get it, I promise you, you will get it, you just have to work on it. Engage your core, tighten your belly, keep the back flat, that protects the spine, hands on your hip, and lift that leg up, trying your best to get it up towards uh, where it's parallel to the opposite leg, and then back down. After each, after each time you lower it, relax all those muscles, re-engage them, squeeze them, and lift again. Pause, back down, relax them all, re-engage, lift and repeat. So in the beginning, let's start with about six to eight repetitions, even working up to 10 eventually, and just starting off with two sets. So you can do, you can do your, your first set and then take a minute rest to recover because this is an exhausting exercise. 
and then do another set of, of those of the same repetitions. Our next exercise is a supine hamstring and glute isometric exercise. So if you don't know, your hamstrings are in the back of your thighs and your glutes are your buttock muscles. So basically, you'll bend your surgical knee up to whatever whatever's available to you, whatever you can get it to. You'll match it with the other knee so they are bent to about the same degree. And then you're going to pretend like you are going to raise your hips up off the table. So all we're doing is an isometric which is to squeeze the muscles as if you were going to raise your hips up into a bridge. So squeeze your hamstrings and glutes, pretend like you're gonna lift, hold for 10 seconds, so it's similar to the quad sets that we did earlier, and then relax. Re-engage the muscles, squeeze the hamstrings and glutes, all the muscles on the posterior chain, and relax. So 10 second holds, 10 repetitions. Our eighth exercise is a seated tail hook. So all you have to do for this exercise is sit at the front of a chair, and then you're going to hook your non-surgical leg over top of the surgical leg. So I've had you know, a total knee replacement on my right side here. So I've hooked my left ankle over my right, and then I'm going to slide my right foot underneath me. So I'm bending and stretching my right knee. I'll go right into that uh, to the edge of that stretch pain stiffness and I'm going to hold there so I'm using the floor as friction to kind of hold that stretch and I'll hold there for about five or ten seconds and then I'm going to kind of slide it back out take a short break tail hook again slide that foot back until I get that pain stiffness or stretch sensation in my knee hold five or ten seconds and I'm gonna repeat that about 10 times. So this is a good one to do throughout the day whenever you're sitting up, kind of watching TV or hanging out uh, because you can do the heel slides at other times when you're lying in bed. So this is a good kind of midday stretch for the knee. For our final exercise, it is a heel prop stretch. Now this is probably the least exhausting of all the exercises, so you'll appreciate that one. However, it it's also uh, can be a painful stretch even if it's just a passive stretch. And because you'll know, if you've had a knee replacement surgery, you can't quite get your knee straight. So we need to work on getting that knee straight. That's really important. You can't stand normally if you can't straighten your knee, right? So the heel prop stretch works on the, getting that full knee extension. And all you do is sit up in a chair. You can prop your heel up on another chair or a coffee table or the couch or something like that. Make sure that your knee and your toes are pointing straight up towards the sky. That's really important because if you let your leg kind of roll out to the side, it's gonna feel a lot better on the knee. I, I know that, but you're not gonna get the stretch on it if you allow that. So do your best. You're not gonna get anything out of the stretch unless you do it correctly. So make sure your knee and your toes are pointed straight up and then you just relax. You let gravity do all the work. It's gonna be kind of a slow, progressive stretch and we, it, we, it's actually a long duration stretch. So we wanna hold this for up to about five minutes, okay? So you're just relaxing into it for five minutes. You're gonna feel the stretch on the back bottom side of the knee, and it's gonna be that slow build because again, it's, it's a gravity stretch, it's a passive stretch. So we only have to do it one or two times a day, but you're gonna try to hold it for about five minutes. That's the goal, build up to five minutes. Please like the video if you found it helpful, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. You'll definitely wanna watch my knee strengthening videos next as you continue on your pathway to living a pain-free, active lifestyle.